Hi guys, you will recall I did this transition about three weeks back where we have this block thing sliding out and in. So while this wipe is inspired in part by Simon Stansfield video, I'll put the link in the description. One of my subscribers also did a wipe like this with um, image plane duplicating it. Um, thanks to Alin Elinor for the tip and for his video it inspired me to do a little bit more on this particular transition what i'm going to put up right now is not going to be as interesting as this one but pretty close like what you see let's get to it I'm bringing this to pieces of footage I got from pexels.com. So I'm going to wait till his clothes are kind of together. So it's easier to mask. So I can go here and cut this up by pressing Ctrl B. Let's delete this. I'm going to move back one frame and go to inspector. Under inspector, double click on speed change and click on freeze. And I go to this other one too. I played, I want to wait till our legs are kind of apart. So I'm just going to click on here, control B, delete this part, move forward one frame by pressing the arrow key on the keyboard and then clicking on this and pressing control B to cut that out. And let's zoom in a wee bit so I can see this, click on this, freeze it so it becomes an image so we can Expand it as much as you want. Zoom out a bit. Let's drag to the side too and expand this one too. Let us click on this Control D. Let's make it um, two seconds. Click on here two. Right click, click on this. Drag this to the side. Let's click on this. Share this here, Control D. Let's make this two seconds. Let's change that. Let's enable snap, connect this to that, connect this to that. Now we can bring in the transition. We go to the fusion, cross dissolve. Drag that in here, click on this, set this to two seconds, and then click on this to open it in Fusion. Drag this out, disconnect this, click here, delete cross dissolve, drag media into down there, and um, let's drag this footage here. So we see this dude, I need to mask him out. Now before I get to this, you see the space up top here and that down here. I need to make some adjustments on the edit page. So I go back to the edit page. I select both of them, move the player down here. And I go to inspector, I zoom in a wee bit. And I want his feet to touch the bottom of this frame. So I'm going to go to wipe position, drag that down. And I go to this ladies dance to put the player on there. Then I zoom in a whole lot. Not too much. Then I drag the Y value down here. And now we go back to the transition and we'll put it in Fusion. We drag this in here. We drag that in there. To mask this one first, let's make it a single viewer. Drag this to the viewer. Let's bring in a polygon mask. And for the polygon mask, I'm just going to trace all this. I'm going to speed this part up a bit. The first one is done. I'm going to fit. Then I'm going to bring in a merge node here, here. Connect this to the merge node and bring in a background node. Drop the alpha to zero. Connect the background node to the background input of merge one. And then the polygon mask to the mask input of merge one. Drag this to the viewer. 
have a cutout of the zombie guy. Let's go to the polygon mask. Let's just give it a softness of 0 0.0025. So let's, let's do the same thing for this picture of this lady here. So I'm going to bring in a polygon mask node and do the same whole process here. the first mask is done but there's some space in here that I need to cut out so I'm going to bring in another polygon nose to cut out this space and drag this in here and cut this out so I'll connect the first polygon to the second polygon then this polygon I'm going to click on subtract let's bring in a merge node for this to connect this media to the foreground of merge 2 and connect this mask input to the mask input of merge 2, bring in another background node here, drop the alpha to 0, connect this to the background input of merge 2. If we drag that in the viewer, we have a cutout of the girl. So we still need to cut out this part of her hair here. So I'm going to bring in another polygon node and trace this part out. Let's connect this to this and connect this to the mask input here then click on this one on the paint mode change that to subtract and then uh, we can let this other part fly for now yeah i think um that's fine let's go to each of the polygon nodes the soft edge let's make it 0 0.0025 Now let's um, go to the zone level to fit. Pretty good on that. Let's now start with the first one, which is this one here. Let's bring in another merge node. Connect this background to the background of this merge and connect this polygon mask to the mask input of merge 3 and connect media in 1 to the foreground of merge 3. Drag this in here. We we'll see the same mask, but we need to invert the mask. So I'm going to click on merge 3, go to settings and click on apply mask inverted next then we bring in two image planes connect merge one to this image plane and merge three to the second image plane let's drag the first image plane to the viewer so for each of the image plane nodes i'm going to bring in a transform 3d and for each of them we're going to set the pivot to for the y value to this value minus 0 0.28125 this value i got it by dividing 1080 by 1920 you will get 0 0.5625 that forms the height of the image but we want by default the pivots are the half of the image if i want to drop it down it's going to be minus the half of it so i'm going to divide 0 0.5625 by 2 and put a minus okay i hope that works I hope you got that let's go to this transform and set the same pivot to the y value there so we drop it to the base of the image you go here right click on this x value because we want to rotate it like so let me try this right from that i want to right click on this modify with anim curves go to modifiers set the curve to easy now for ease in i'm going to set this to sign set this to sign then for the scale i'm going to set this to 90 and for the time scale i'm going to set this to four and for the second one right click on x rotation click on anim curves go to the modifiers tab for ease in, set this, the curve, set it to ease in. And for ease in, set the ease in to expo. And let's leave this at none. Now for the values here, set this to minus 120. Because I want this particular one to move, to rotate out, so outward the other way. Right, then I set this scale to 4. And I want this to happen a little further 
down. So I'm going to set this time offset 0 0.3. Now let's leave this and set up for the media in two. Let's bring in a merge node. Connect this mask input to this merge node. We go to the merge node, go to settings, apply mask inverted. Connect this background node to the background repeat of merge 4 and connect media into the foreground of merge 4. Drag that to the viewer, we have the invert of this group. Let's bring in an image plane, and another image plane, connect the output of merge 2 to this first image plane, output of merge 4 to the second image plane. Let's bring in two transform nodes, each for each image plane. Set the pivot value to the same pivot value we used the other time. Pivot value for Y. Merge these two together. Connect them together to merge 3D. Let's just position it correctly. For this first transform, X rotation, modify with anim curves. Click on the modifiers tab, set the E curve to easing. The easing, leave it at none. The ease out, set it to quad. Then for the scale, set this to minus 90 because I want it to be already down, then move in by adding. So this would be down, then this minus 90 pulls it up basically. Then time skill, set this to four. And I want this to happen a little further down, set this to 0 0.75. Now for this background, for the environment for this um, girl, I want, I don't want to rotate it. I want it to zoom in, so to speak. So I'm going to right click on the Z value, modify with anim curves, go to modify as tab. Under the curve, set that to easing, set the easing to circ, and then the ease out to sign. Then the scale, let's set that to minus 0 0.629, and set this to 1.95. So the 6 to 9, sorry. We go to scale, the scale set that to 2. And then the time of set to 0 0.25. For each, because I don't want to use a camera 3D node, I'm just going to set the zoom values for each of them. So for this one, let's go to tools. This comes to, then I go to this one, set the Z value to 1.321. I go to this other transform 3D, set the Z value to 1.321 and set the Z value here to 1.321. So that way, when we do render, when we render it out, it's going to be perfect. So we bring a render node here and connect this to the render 3D node, render a 3D node, set the renderer type to OpenGL. Let's bring this to the viewer. You see, it just fits perfectly. So I'm gonna give this a render 3D node, bring another render 3D node and connect that here. So I'm going to bring in a merge node. Connect this to the merge node and connect this to the merge node. I'll ensure that this is always on top of this. I'm going to right click on this and swap input. So this is on top of that. Then I'm going to bring this render node here. Let's bring in a fast noise node for the colorful background you saw there. Let's drag that to the viewer. Let's set this to gradient and let's set the first color to red. Let's just create like five more points. Go to the next one. Green, next one. Blue, next one. Red, green. Next one. Then next one. Next one. And just go to. OK. 
Okay. So we have something colorful. Let's go to noise, increase the contrast to two. We'll leave this here to something like that. Something like this. Then let's now do a little something. Let's bring in a merge node, connect this to the merge node, connect it to the background and connect this to the foreground. And bring this renderer 3D, connect that here. And um, let's connect this to the output here. If we now drag this to the viewer, let's go here. Uh, it looks like this is kind of small, so I'm going to go through Transfer 3D or by 321. I need to set this to 1.321. That's why it didn't fit properly. So if we go to the beginning and play what we've got here, bam. Bam. And um, pretty nifty transition. So guys, that's basically it. Thanks for watching. And see you on the next one. Cheers, guys.